While Guyana has been able to reduce the number of new HIV infections, the National AIDS Program Secretariat, NAPS, says its records show a spike in other sexually transmitted infections, STI, with syphilis being in the lead. As a consequence, this year's HIV couples testing drive will also see persons being screened for sexually transmitted infections such as syphilis and hepatitis B. The ramped-up testing activities will commence on Friday, February 12, and will run until Sunday, February 14. Teams from NAPS will be at the Starbrook Market on Friday, while persons can get access to the service on Saturday at the City Mall, Camp and Regent Street, the Monrepo Market on the east coast of Demerara, and Giffland Mall. On Sunday, the team will be at the Perica Market on the east bank of Esuquibo and the Kitty Sea Wall in Georgetown. Persons can also access the service at the standard testing sites across the country. As Voluntary Counseling and Testing VCT Coordinator Deborah Success Hall explains, the activity is mainly to allow couples to be tested as a demonstration of their love and commitment to each other. And this activity is where it actually was an initiative from Dr. Shanti Singh, who was our pro former program manager. When we examine our programmatic data, we recognize that in everything we do, we did, more females were accessing the service. And so we came up with an activity that will involve men. And so that was the birth of the Valentine's Day couple testing, where you see couples getting tested together as a demonstration of their love and commitment to each other. But now NAPS has a new challenge on its hand, and that is to address the spike in STI cases. STI coordinator Dr. Keisha Chin said it is in this vein that her department decided to collaborate with the VCT department to roll out the 2021 activity. What we have noted here at the National AIDS Program Secretariat is that it's very important to provide um, a comprehensive package of services to our population, not only to the wider general population, but also to our key populations and vulnerable groups. So what we will be doing on my part for STI is that we um, would have collaborated with the, con with the voluntary consent testing um, section within NAPS to provide STI screening for not only couples but anyone that would be interested on the days that we will be um, executing our activities. Um, mainly the screening that we will be doing based on the te test kits that we have available, we'll be screening for syphilis and also for hepatitis B as well on that day. Persons who test positive will be referred to a medical facility to receive treatment and counseling. Dr. Chen assured that privacy is utmost during the three-day activity. NAP said it managed to test some 23,000 persons countrywide, a shortfall in its annual testing numbers because of the COVID-19 pandemic.